Jerry, would you like to introduce our, our special guest? I would. This is my lovely little noodle here. Uh, Carrie is her name. And she, she's about to eat my iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't necessarily see myself as a you know, full-time touring musician in uh, updates in Europe and across the country. Uh, but I always wanted to have, have music as part of my life. Uh, and this allows me to do that on a grand scale um, a lot easier than I could have by myself. So I, I, you know, when I joined the Operation Encore, I was still active duty. I was a helicopter, helicopter instructor. And then I deployed for a year, so I was gone, so that kind of changed things. And then I came back, I got out of active duty, uh, spent the past year at home being a stay-at-home dad slash semi-professional, professional musician. Probably a little bit different than somebody who's doing music um, full-time, even though I have been for the past year. You know, and, and I guess that's one of the great things about Operation Island Encore is that they've been so, so flexible uh, in all of, all of those life stages across the spectrum. Uh, and it's, I've still been able to produce uh, very, very, very high quality music like this, uh, even while trying to be a full-time dad. And honestly, I couldn't have done a, you know, I could not have had a product like this without Operation on board. There's no way that I would have had the time, the money, the resources to put something like this together by myself. There you go, sure. Well, I think I've developed across the, across the board as a musician since I got uh, involved in Operation on board. And, and, and that's been a big part. That's what Operation on board has made me to do is become comfortable t telling my story. You know, being surrounded by um, very, very talented people. You start picking things off of them. Um, you know, sitting in the studio watching other people record. And, you know, I, I get to look over the shoulder of the producer and see how he's setting up his, his software and all this sorts of stuff. And you learn a lot. From the uh, 2014 release show, I got to close the show with the song We Are. You dream as a musician of having people people singing your lyrics, singing your song, and everybody holding hands singing Kumbaya. But it actually happened, and that was a really cool thing. Everyone, not just the Operation Encore folks were up on stage, but you know, there's a crowd there, several hundred people, uh, singing the lyrics to your song, and that's cool. Uh, this is all my music, all original stuff, and it was, uh, the idea came from Operation Encore. <laughs> Operation Encore really made it happen. Um, so they were involved from, from start to finish, and, and that includes getting the producer online, uh, having meetings about what direction I wanted to go with the music before, before I ever started uh, all the way to, uh, you know, actually the recording process, which most of that was recorded in San Francisco, but I did my parts here, both in my own home studio and then a local studio out in town. Yeah, absolutely. So this uh, this this Saturday at 7 p.m. is the uh, release show for my new EP, Old Enough to Try, and uh, it's at uh, if you're in the Jacksonville, Florida area, uh, swing by Whiskey Jacks. Uh, we're gonna have a great time. Uh, we've got some special stuff uh, in terms of music that I'll be playing, as well as special guests, Operation Encore artist Rachel Hill will be in town. And she'll be playing some tunes as well. <laughs> Thank you for recording it. <laughs> yeah. Or